I want to revisit ClickUp dependencies because building those templates, setting them all up can actually give you quite the heartburn when subtasks are named the same thing. Suddenly you have the same name task and which one do you need to choose for your dependency? Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Hyman with AskEvie.com and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. And right here in my video, I help you streamline your business, simplify your life, and stop wasting time with those pasky admin tasks. And if you are new here and you are ready to streamline your business to stop wasting time with all of the admin tasks, go subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And did somebody say admin tasks? We are talking today about dependencies, especially when you are building out your templates, because when you go in and you say, hey, this task is dependent on this and there, and you are trying to look in your list and trying to find the right task, it can be a really mess. And suddenly you made one task dependent on a completely different task that you didn't even mean to link. So today, I'm gonna to show you that one single trick that's going to make your life so easy. Let's jump over my computer. So looking at this, you can see we already have some dependencies set up here. And this is our standard workflow for video production and what we do with everything later on. As you can see, it's video prep, add video to be a media, video optimization and publish, blog post, evergreen marketing. Those names are all the same. They are not specifically named to the video we are producing or anything. So you can see when we are producing a multitude of video, suddenly I'm going to have like five different video prep. Now, which video prep am I talking about and how, what, where, what? So let's fast talk about just how we actually set dependency. So let's grab the add video to be immediate. Let's remember that. Go into the video optimization and publish, go into task settings and choose dependencies. In this case, we are waiting on... There you go. This is the exact issue I'm talking about. I'm looking for the BR media at the video to BR media. Yeah, there's one task, there's two tasks, there's three tasks, there's four tasks. Do we have more? Which one of those am I actually waiting for? Because you can't necessarily tell where is it. So simple trick, as you just saw, hover over them. Okay, marketing, content creation in the block. Cool. They are all in the block, so this doesn't help us either. God damn it. Which one do I actually need to use? Hmm. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into the main task and we are going into the add video to be our media and you're gonna go into the task settings and look at this little gizmo right there. This is your task link. So we copy that URL. We're gonna go back in and we're gonna go into video optimization and publish, go into the task settings and go into dependencies and we are waiting on and what you're gonna do now is literally just paste that task. This is really this simple to make sure you are linking the dependency to the right task. Really that simple. Now here's a little pro tip for you. A lot of my clients have been asking me, so Evie, setting dependencies, cool, but which way do I go? It doesn't matter. If you are saving those URL links, you actually can do your dependencies going both ways. For a better visual, let's jump right in here. What you can do is the video optimization actually would be blocking the blog post and waiting on BR Media, right? So rather than going through every single one and just saying, okay, we are waiting on this task, you can go into video optimization and publish and you go back to your dependencies and you are waiting on, that's the URL we just grabbed. Cool, awesome. And then you are going to blocking and I didn't grab the URL. You just plug in the URL for blocking on the blog post publish. And now you have built up the dependencies for three tasks all in one setting rather than jumping into every single subtask and building this. Now, another pro tip, build out this workflow. Build out your template, save it all with the dependency, with the task estimate time, with the assignees, with the due dates. 
and just pull in the template when you need it. That way you don't have to deal with setting up the dependencies every single time. You don't have to deal with assigning your team members, having the estimate, knowing how long everything takes. You just pull it in that easy. So now go play around with that task link because God, that makes our life so much easier. And if you stuck this far along and you're still not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video or go live. I'll see you in the next video.